me tell you what I've done okay, over my life. I've been, in, I've been working since 1980. Okay, so that's many moons. So, let me just tell you the different things I've been working in. My first jobs were in New York City in advertising. Then I went to teaching. I went to Chicago. And then I went to Boston teaching in private schools. Then I went to book translating. Right, Spanish to English. I did that for several years. Translating big best-selling books. Then I went to uh, live in Mexico and I taught in Mexico City at a big private school. All right? The rich kids. Then I went to work in Mexico City in FedEx. And I was one of the managers there, training people. Because FedEx had just bought a company there. And then I went back to the United States and I did fundraising. Okay, that's a job where you go around the country and you work for different clients. Okay? And over a several year period, I raised $127 million with volunteer teams at every client. Okay? You know what a client is. So, every organization. And then I came back to teaching. So I've taught about 11 or 12 years. Okay? And my current position is I'm in charge of the library. I've done fourth grade in okay, a couple of years. Bilingual. And then I, I, uh, now I'm in the library where I'm also in charge of the reading programs. I'm in charge of bringing in outside groups like the Houston Ballet or other uh, art groups or writing groups, any kind of after school program, photography. After school, anything after school, I bring it in. I work with any speakers, okay? Any kind of like we're getting the, uh, the Houston uh, police chief to come and speak to our graduation, okay? Things like that. I do all the outside bringing in the groups, okay? And I also do uh, fundraising for the school, okay? Great group. <laughs> Great group. Several work line students. So, and the last thing, we're doing right now a $100,000 campaign for new books, okay? So I started that in October, and we are now at $78,000, almost there. And we only need to raise uh, just a few, you know, a little bit more, and we're gonna make 100,000 in the next few weeks. So these are all the different things we're doing. We're cleaning up the whole library, we're gonna put in all new books. We're going to go from 10% Spanish to 50% Spanish in the library because our population is 97% Hispanic and 70% English language learners. So they're still speaking Spanish at home. And they're probably speaking, everybody speaks Spanish during the day. Okay? Maybe not in the classroom, but, you know, in the hallways and everywhere where they're talking, you know. So, now this is a different kind of talk than you're used to. I'm not going to keep talking to you. Okay, you're going to have to get involved, right, Francisco? But like you're going to have to react. Now, I'd like you to, if you have a piece of paper, please get out a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen, so you can take notes and be actively involved in the presentation. Okay? Now, young lady, can you? I just want to have eye contact with you. Would you please just move one seat over? Okay, not you. The other student. Would you please move just one seat over? Thank you. Because so you've got to have eye, eye contact with the audience. Now, based on all of those different careers, which is one, two, three, four, five different areas. Okay? What can you, I want you to use your guidance, okay? And I want you to tell me what can you conclude about my career and many people's careers? 
what can you conclude based on all the different jobs I've had? I've not been a teacher all my life, like many of your teachers. Okay, so I told you, how many five different careers? So, they're all education related, all right, and motivation related. So, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell me, critical thinking, can you tell me something, a conclusion based on all those jobs? Pardon me? Yeah, I'm fluent in Spanish and English. I started my Spanish training in fifth grade. My wife is Mexican, so I'm also a citizen, so we always speak Spanish at home. Okay. So, but what can you tell me about my career and about many people's careers if they're in different jobs? Anybody? Ivan? Can you tell me something? Come on, let's wake up. Come on. Wake up and smell the coffee. What's going on here? Okay, I'm going to let you get by on this one. The, the statistic for all American professionals, all right, or all American workers, is that you're going to change your job at least four times in your career. You're going to change your career. That means not doesn't mean change your job. You're going to change your career, all right, or your job. You're not going to be in the same place. And then, as you're getting older and older, this you are in your new you're in a new world. It's not a world I know. Okay, you're going into a world I know, but we can predict that you are going to be possibly even changing more often because companies don't keep people anymore for their whole life. When you're um, before, like my parents and people in my generation, okay. They would company, a big company would hire you, and then you would be them with them for life. And you'll get a pension, okay, the oil company or the, they still do that, all right? But the telephone company or whatever, the insurance company, and you would be there with them for life, just like a government job. That's the good thing about government jobs, it's for life. And so you get a pension when you retire. And a pension is money until you're you know, when you're old. But so just keep that in mind. You're going to always be changing. So this is, takes me to the topic I want to talk about. I don't want to talk to you about me. I want to talk to you about you and your world. If you're going to be changing your job so many times, like I have had to do, I've lived in 18 different cities, okay? U.S., Mexico, all right? So, if you're going to be changing your jobs so many times, what are you going to have to do every time you change jobs? Interview. Write that down, okay? If you're changing your job every four years or every four times a career, what do you have to know how to do? Your teachers tell you this all the time. What? You have to be able to Mm -hmm. You have to good, good speak, all right? Good speak, speaking abilities, but you have to have good interviewing skills, right? Now, what do you do in an interview, basically? Okay, what is your name? Eliza. Okay, excellent. 